All right. Um, thank you for coming to join us again on our YouTube channel today to check out what we have for you. This new channel is basically dedicated to providing solutions and answers to a lot of questions that people have as far as getting bias concerned. And that's what we stand for. That's what we hope to achieve, to be able to help our viewers understand um, our find answers and solutions to their challenges. So today's episode, the discussion will be around what you need to do before you start looking for buyer. So we start to do this before looking for buyer. What is this that you need to do before looking for buyer? Remember to subscribe, like the video, share with your friends, and remember to drop your comment in notification, drop your comment in the comment section. Um, we'll be glad to respond to you and answer all your questions as you learn from all that we'll be sharing on this channel. And remember to also click on notification bell so you know when we post a new video. So what do you need to do what, when I say do this before you look for buyer? You know, this is particularly important for those that are new. As in, I mean, you are entirely new as far as looking for buyer is concerned. And what I mean by this is um, you have not exported before. Or you have exported, but you are not a regular exporter. Um, it's important you understand that when you approach any company that you want to supply them, the first thing they do is to check for your credibility. <clears throat> your credibility. They want to be sure that they are not dealing with fraud. You know, it's, it's important you know that just that you are from a developing country, particularly Africa, and in particular Nigeria, <laughs> some people already label you. They already they've stereotyped you. They've um, painted you in a way that make them to behave in a way towards you. And we don't need to deny this. We don't need to deceive ourselves about this. Um, we already have some very terrible reputation out there as Africans, Nigeria in particular, that is making organizations, businesses abroad, not to want to do business with us. But they need what we have to offer. I mean, we have so much to offer, either in solid minerals, in agro-commodity, in finished products, in raw materials. They definitely are in need of what we have to offer. But there's a challenge. And this challenge is that how do they even know that you are serious. You need to leave footprints online for them to find it easy to find you. So for example, you have seen a buyer, you have approached a buyer, you want this buyer to buy from you, and the buyer do a search of your company. You can't be found anywhere. No website. No Instagram uh, account, no YouTube channel, no LinkedIn, no Facebook page. So there's nowhere to check. Look, how long has this business existed? What is the business into? What does the business do? If you do not build profile across different online platforms, and this can be done over a period of time, if you don't build that profile, you will make them to doubt your credibility. So when I say do this before you start looking for buyer, I'm saying build a business profile online. And I mean across different platforms. Across different platforms. So meaning it would be good for you to have a Facebook page where you post information about your business, about your product. So for example, let's say you want to sell tea or you want to sell slippers or you want to sell clothing or you want to sell commodities like sesame seed or you want to sell lead oil, zinc oil, whatever product. Can you show online evidence that indeed you are into this business. Maybe show the picture of your mining site, videos 
of the farm or the warehouse or the women working with you. In fact, if you have a lot of women working with you in the supply chain, showcase it, showcase it, showcase it. There's a lot of support for women. Some people will do business with you because you have women working with you, particularly the women in the remote areas in the villages. Maybe cleaning, parking, whatever it is that they're doing for you. Post all this information online. Talk about the product. Talk about the service. Talk about just information to show what you are doing. Harvest, handling, cleaning. If it's a factory, processing, packaging, storage, loading, or showcasing the product and discussing, explaining, and talking about the product online. Whatever it is, the idea is this. You see all those activities? Build credibility. This is a very important protocol that an intending exporter need to consider. You know what I discovered? Many people are just eager to go immediately and start looking for buyers. And sometimes nobody responds to them because you, you saw someone's contact, you send him a mail, the first thing is you want to be sure you exist. You check online, you search for your company name, you can't find you. You search for your uh, for you on Facebook, you can't find you. You search for you on LinkedIn, you can't find you. You search for you on Instagram, you can't find you. I said, there's nowhere to show. And when you're building this profile, you need to have done it for months, meaning you're posting something like three, four times every week. Three, four times every week. So there are a lot of information available already a lot of information available already about your business and product. So that when someone do a search, boom, <laughs> so many information will be thrown at such an individual at the time. When you break a protocol like this, what happens is this. They ignore your message. Auto-delete your message. Avoid your message. Because you are suggesting that either you are new entirely, you have not even done it before, so we should not even deal with you because you mess us up. So there's no track record. Or you are new to doing export, or you are new to the business. Look, even if it's local supply you are doing, Celebrate it. <laughs> Take a picture of it. Put it online. The idea is to build profile because the real world today, the real place where engagement is happening today in our world is online. Online is the real place. So you can't be doing anything and online is avoided. I see some businesses, it's so funny. They don't even have a website. I will talk about websites in another video. So do this before you look for buyer. And what is it that you must do? Build profile across different platforms. I've given an example of such platform, LinkedIn platform, social media like Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube. Ensure you have enough information that by the time they go, they can literally see the history and see what you've done and see and be able to say, oh, I think these guys are serious. I think, and then on those products, they can also see the contact detail. They, they can see some consistency on what you have done over the years. And what that basically does is it gives you credibility. Make them to believe that they can trust you. By the time you do this, it may intending buyer not to doubt your credibility or your capacity to do the shipment. If the online profile shows that you have been posting in the last at least three to four months, the older, the better. The older, the better. Why? If you have not been posting at all, it shows that you are a startup. But at least that you even have information they can trace to at least they know you exist. But if it's non existence, you may be seen as a froster. Yahoo, Yahoo, whatever name they call them. You may be seen as a froster. And that might 
make them not to take you serious. So do this before you start looking for buyer. What do you do? Build profile across different social media platforms. If you don't know how to do it, engage someone, pay them, and ensure you put all this information I've talked about this video on that platform. Remember, our goal is to help you achieve your export dream. And in doing that, we also need you to come here every time to like this video, to, to share the video with your friends and allies who might be interested, to also subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you know when we upload a new video. But more important, like I often say, drop your comment. Drop your comment in the comment section. Let's know exactly how this video has been of help to you. And if there are suggestions on anything you want to talk about or question you have, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment. I'll be reading them from time to time. And of course, I will definitely respond to you. Remember, my name still remains your expert doctor, Bamidele Ayimibo, and I'm signing out. All right, bye-bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.